We now find ourselves at the foot of the hills in the karst region of Slovenia, in the small but much visited village of Lipica. It's the national home of the Lipicana horse, and since the 1500s has boasted the world's biggest Lipican breeding establishment, Lipica Stud. Lipica is a very special place. I think that all Slovenian people are very proud of Lipica. Uh, after all, it's the birthplace of the white horses. We have uh, more than 310 acres of land, of pastures, and more than 350 horses. So we are very proud that this year we have uh, 29 new members, yeah, 29 uh, new foals. Every morning here in Lipica starts very early. So the work of our um, employees starts around 6 a.m. They have to clean the stables, they have to prepare the food. And at around 9.30 every morning, we release the herd to the pastures. We have different pastures for different herds. And I think that this is one of the most amazing things to see. Lipitsan white horse is actually declared as a grey horse. And this is because when the horses are born, the small foals are of the color black or grey. And only after four up to eight years, they start losing their color and they become whiter and whiter. So when the foal is born, he stays with his mother from uh, six months up to nine months. Uh, it depends on when he's born. And then before the winter begins, he leaves the home and he starts his social life. And for the next four years, he's socializing with other horses. And after four years, the Lipitsan horse uh, comes back to Lipica, where he starts his official training. We take a lot of care of our horses. We have a lot of people who work here, groomers, veterinarians, riders, uh, people who work in stables, people who clean the grass. Uh, and it's a very tough job because this is not a classical job when you start Monday and finish Friday, but because we are working with horses, uh, the work never stops. And, uh, most of the, our job is done traditionally. Uh, of course, we've modernized the way we do it. For example, we don't use horses anymore to clean the stables or to bring wood from the forest, but we used modern machines. Uh, otherwise, we are trying to stay as traditional as possible. We have quite a lot of good riders. Uh, we are very proud of them. Basically, it's their job to train all day and to train the next generation. Lipicaners are uh, friendly, cheerful, generous, can be also fearful. But uh, once when you know them, understand them, it's a joy to work with them. So right now we are in Hof, the oldest staple here in Lipica. The staple is more than 300 years old. Here is where we keep our stallions, the best horses in Lipica. Uh, till this day, they are used for breeding. A lot of them still take part in the performances. As you can see, they are very friendly, very nice horses. And uh, the most important thing, they are very easily educated, very obedient, very good friends to say. They're so nice, so gentle. I mean, it's, it's a good thing uh, to come here and just relax and talk with them. Okay, so now I'm going to introduce you to Thais, one of our oldest stallions here in Lipica. He's actually 25 years old, still very active, even sometimes in the performances. As you can see, he's eating right now, but he's always so happy to come, say hello. 
Hi, Thais. Hey. The relationship between the riders and the horses is important because uh, each rider has five to six horses to work per day and uh, they differ according to their abilities and uh, each horse has his uh, own personality, different char characteristics, physical and uh, psychological characteristics and uh, important is for us riders and trainers that we uh, adopt to this and train them according to uh, his abilities. For many, the highlight of their stud visit is an invitation to watch performances played out by the classical riding school, a chance for both horses and handlers to showcase their extraordinary skills. They differ according to their abilities. Some have qualities to perform the most demanding elements of high classic school, like uh, Piafé Passage, Flying Changes, Terrace Ride, Pirouettes and Canter, and others have qualities to perform a school about the ground. Young stallions will present basic elements, which are known for classical school and young horses, such as riding straight on the circle and changing direction. And important is that in the first two years of, of training, horses do correctly these basic elements, that they develop mentally and physically uh, for the next phase, where they started to learn more difficult elements uh, such as lateral movements. In second session we see long reins where the horse is performing the most demanding uh, high school elements such as Piafé Passage, uh, flying changes at every stride, pirouettes and canter and all the lateral movements and the uh, rider is not riding but uh, walking behind the horse and uh, that horse is able to perform all these difficult elements just by the help of the rider's sweep and the long reins there must be good uh, connection, trust, and the relationship between the horse and the rider. In session three, we see four horses and four riders that are performing uh, classical elements, such as uh, shoulder in, half pass, and flying changes. And uh, important is that there are good uh, distances and coordination between the riders and the horses uh, during the performance of these uh, elements. In the last session, we can see uh, School of Grand, and in the School of Grand uh, are performing horses with special talents. And uh, we can see elements such as Levade, Corbete and Capriole, and that are horses able to perform these elements. They must have a lot of strength, good balance and explosiveness. For example, in Levade, horse uh, lower his haunches and lifts his forehand, so the angle between the ground and the horse's body is around 30 degrees and horse must have a lot of strength and good balance to perform this element. In Corbeta we see consecutive jumps on hind legs and the uh, horse must have also good balance and strength to, to perform this difficult element. Capriola is one more attractive element where the horse jumps and kicks with the hind leg and we all riders are proud to work in, uh, with uh, the Pizzanas because it's our national uh, treasure and uh, we enjoy working with, they, with them each day.